Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Now, is your hair shedding a lot? Are you experiencing hair loss or your hair just seems to be thinning? Now, if that's you, you have definitely come to the right place because I'm going to share with you two amazing hair growth sprays that can help you you know prevent those things from happening or if they are already happening it can help in minimizing it or stopping it altogether so if you are interested definitely be sure to watch and please watch till the end so you get to see all of the ingredients steps and also how to use it now before we get into the video i want to say a huge thank you if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support guys if you're new here please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family now let's hop into the video so the first spray will uh, include cloves so i'm using whole cloves that i got from um i think i got this from like the engine shop it's quite uh, easy to find it here but obviously if you do struggle please check amazon or ebay you might be able to find it now cloves does help a lot when it comes to stimulating um high growth because it basically just helps to improve the blood circulation around the scalp. It contains high levels of antioxidants and nutrients that can add to the growth and strength of our hair. So I added about two um, tablespoons of cloves. Now I'm going in with some dry hibiscus leaves. Now hibiscus is also very, very beneficial for hair growth. It stops hair loss. It makes your hair look healthy and luscious. It prevents premature growing. It thickens hair and adds volume. It treats dandruff and it also conditions against freeze, dryness and breakage. So I added one tablespoon of hibiscus, dry hibiscus. Now I'm putting in some orange peels. Now orange peels are high in antioxidants and these help to fight off free radicals and it also helps to prevent hair damage and boost hair growth. So I added about two to three glasses of water and I'm going to pop the whole thing on the stove and allow it to simmer for about five to ten minutes. Now you know this is ready when your cloves have doubled in size so just take it off the stove and then um, we're going to move on to the next step. Now, once it's come off the stove, guys, I'm going to transfer it into this jar and I'm going to allow it to sit overnight and infuse even more. And then the next day, I'm going to go ahead and strain it. So this is the next thing guys, I'm ready to strain. So for this, I'm going to be using a wig cap, but please feel free to use whatever you have available. It could be a stocking cap or even a tea towel. So take a bowl and pop your wig cap on there and just pour the, the mixture on it and that will just strain. It's a lot easier to strain this one because it contains just the seeds and things that are not powdery. And um, yeah, it's a lot easier. So just put it on there and just allow it to drain. Now we're going to transfer it into a spray bottle so that it's easier to use. Um, and also you can store this in your fridge for up to a week to 10 days, depending on the temperature of your fridge. Or you can make batches and freeze and defrost and use as in when it's needed. Now I'm going to move on to the next um, spray, so keep on watching. Okay guys, so for the next spray, we are going to need some green tea. Now green tea contains something called EGCG 
and this helps to prevent hair loss by inhibiting the activity of the hormones that are known to induce hair loss and it can also help in promoting hair regrowth by stimulating the hair follicles so I use two tea bags next I'm going in here with some bay leaves now these are the regular bay leaves that you cook with so bay leaf contains antioxidants which helps to strengthen the hair it treats dryness and dandruff it also helps in preventing um, scalp inflammation which is again very important when it comes to just having healthy hair in general so I used a little bit of that next I went in with some rosemary rosemary again has been known to help with hair growth because it helps to increase the blood flow to the scalp area which just means it brings more nutrients and oxygen to your follicles which can promote, um, promote new hair growth and also prevent hair fall so I added some water guys and popped the whole thing on the stove and I'm just going to allow it to infuse. Now the other way that you can do this if you're not in a rush is by placing all your ingredients in a jar and then add some hot water and just allow the whole thing to do its thing overnight essentially. And that will save you having to waste your gas or electricity to do this. It will give you the exact same results but this way is a lot quicker. So once this has fully infused used and just took it off the stove and I'm just kind of straining you don't need a recap or anything for this so just pour your liquid in a container and then essentially we're going to allow it to cool down and transfer it into an applicator bottle um, so that it's easier to use now you can also store this in your fridge for up to two weeks depending on your temperature or you can make batches and freeze and defrost as in when it is needed so if you made it to this part of the video guys and you still haven't liked please please go ahead and like the video it really helps me out and also please subscribe to the channel if you're not already i would really really appreciate that now stick around because i'm going to show you guys how you can use this and also talk a little bit more about how often you can use it to see um results so keep on watching now Onto this part of the video, I'm showing you guys how I'm using it. Now, the way that I will be using it is the same way that I would use any type of spray or, you know, leave-in conditioner. Now, both of the sprays that I showed you are used in the exact same way. So, essentially, I'm just spraying it throughout my hair, starting from the roots all the way to, you know, the ends of my hair. Just making sure that, you know, every single bit of the hair is covered now I'm gonna go ahead and use um, a butter you can use an oil as well just to help you seal the moisture in your hair now if you do find that this is not as moisturizing for your hair as you would like just because some people also reported in the past that cloves can be a bit drying for their hair or even rosemary can be a bit drying or harsh so if that's you please remember to use a um, creamy short ball leave-in conditioner that you can just apply after this what i love so much about sprays is the fact that you can instead of using water basically before applying your leave-in conditioner you can just use this it's just as beneficial for your scalp and your hair in general so it's it's, it's good i mean if you can use something that's like water and, and get better benefits why not so i'll suggest that you use it twice to three times a week you don't necessarily have to uh, detangle every time because I don't detangle my hair every time guys sometimes I just pray and go and that's just that's just how easy it is and that's basically just what I, what I have time for so um, you can just pray and go and just move on with your day as you would normally and you will still see great results so this brings me to the end of the video I hope you guys have enjoyed watching if you did please thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I'll catch you the next one bye